Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nerd Mel Theater. This is Harmon Town. Please welcome your mayor, Mr. Dan Harmon. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be good to be back at our at our headquarters. We've been we've been abroad a lot. Unpredictable schedules. Never know when we're here, when we're not. Who's controlling? Who is? Who's not? Whoever's just hanging out at your house. <laughs> Guest controller Dave Horowitz. Everybody. Hi guys. I have a couple things I could talk about, but 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 I, I do think that we should be prepared for a terrible show. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I feel laconic. I feel neutral. The the pressures of uh, of, of, of 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 nuptials, uh, nuptial pressure. Impending nuptials. Yes. Impending nu- nuptials. The 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 pressure of impending <laughs> nuptials. The pressure of impending nuptials. Yeah. The um, w- uh, it, it, they you you compensate for them with a kind of. Uh, dead calm, like mm-hmm. you, because you don't want to be one of these people that's l- nervous about getting married because that would be dumb. You'd be like in a Certs commercial or a Mentos, <laughs> Mentos uh, yeah. commercial, like looking a, for a quick fix because you like blew a cufflink and then yeah. you put a yeah, Mento yeah. in there. Like yeah. who cares? Who cares? Yeah. I'm cool. I live in LA. Yeah, Joel McHale's gonna be at my wedding. I don't. Yeah. I don't I'm not gonna fucking put some pressure on it. Yeah. The guy, the guy from the soup's gonna be there. He's gonna, he's gonna smell fear like a dog. He'll he'll, he'll get up and start heckling me. No, that, that'll he'll, never he'll, happen. He'll, he'll, he'll call me a Kardashian. Uh, so I gotta I gotta be cool. But uh, th- th- nothing to do with that. It's al- obviously also the beginning of a whole the second half and probably the second and probably last half of my life. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You only get two. Yeah, I'm not. There's when it when it comes to halves, mm-hmm. you're guaranteed a maximum of two. Yeah. Uh, so when you're starting the second half of your life, you there is a s- subtle realization there that you are now officially, absolutely officially dying. <laughs> Like, 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 absolutely more so than being born, you are now more dying. Because your next tasks include, for instance, helping someone else get born, you mm-hmm. know, and handing the reins off to him before your third heart attack proves uh, a, 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 a irreconcilable, as the doctors might say, in some strange uh, universe where doctors are extra coy. <laughs> Um, it's a truly, it's a truly romantic way to think about marriage. Replication, yeah, replication, like the humble mosquito who li- <laughs> lives its life, and then at the end of it, uh, of its full mosquito life, which I think probably spans a day, mm-hmm. um, we're always like, "What are you doing? What do you get out of? Who, who, who flies in a face like that?" And the mosquito is like, "This is it!" <laughs> 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 and, and we're just like, unbelievable. Will you knock it off? This is all I have! <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> um, it's, it's comforting to think, think of things in, in those terms. Uh, uh, this is it. I am about to lay eggs <laughs> in, a, in a puddle outside your mailbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in, in, in somewhere in, w- in, in some swampy land. Uh, where hopefully a, a giant frog tongue won't won't rake across my deposits, <laughs> rendering them pointless. Uh, what's the what's your frog tongue like? Uh, it's Chevy Chase. Oh no! <laughs> Does he know about the wedding? He'll be back. He'll be back. Fuck. No, I, I, I just thought that, that was one of the dumb <laughs> comedy brain thinking like, what's the what, what what's the what should I say there? What is my what is my frog tongue? My frog tongue is spiders, motherfucker. <laughs> spiders. Okay, so Erin came home and she saw a uh, there's a black widow with a web on the stairs. Yep. She's taking pictures of it. She's like, oh, I've, they've, there's a black widow. It's, a, it's got an hourglass on its back. It's it it was eating a caterpillar. Yeah. In the fucking thing because it's like. Like uh, 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 everything about them has to be so maudlin and like extreme. Yeah. It's a, it couldn't just be eating a fly. Is it eating a fucking like that a, thing was a like art directed to yeah. scare you? Like yeah, an hourglass like, in its like, back, I, like I, eating I, a no, no, a fly. That's 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 hoi polloi shit. I yeah. like, only the fat of an unbaptized caterpillar <laughs> will quench this black widow's thirst. 
uh, yeah, it's sitting there, it's, you know, just like t- watching it wriggle. And uh, it's a black widow. And, you know, if they bite you, uh, it'll, you, you know, probably won't kill you. But if you're a small child or a lamb, <laughs> a baby lamb, it'll take you out. <laughs> and when's the last time you went to work uh, on a... <laughs> On, on enough toxins to take out a baby lamb, <laughs> that's gonna fuck up my shooting schedule, which is which is a professional form of death. Black widows are dangerous. They're not brown look recluses, but they're dangerous. I, I got off on a that was I, I don't know if you remember what what the point. Oh, that's my frog's tongue. Spiders. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I was in the middle of something. What was it? Oh, I'm dying because I'm getting married. So I, 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 my body knows that, but my mind. So my mind, therefore, puts this like, I, I have no choice over it. My my mind is just going like, hey man, what's good? Like I have to affect this like weird McConaughey drawl. <laughs> I don't care about anything. Oh, <laughs> just get married, man. Because otherwise I'll panic and I'll like I'll, like uh, I'll, I'll achieve my final form. <laughs> uh, but you're gonna be feeling it up there. The emotional flood will be too much for your Steely McConaughey reserve. Like, it's going to... I, I don't plan on spending the ceremony itself uh, withholding anything. <laughs> I will give it my all. But, but uh, I've, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a week of, it's a week of nerves for the nerveful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one, one mitigates one's nerves. All right. I'm definitely going to cry. Not right now. But when it happens. I might cry right now. Do you want to cry right now? I'll yeah, do you want to just say something sad to me and yeah, I'll yeah, see yeah. how it – just you, – you know, you know me a little. Like maybe yeah. like get really in there in my insecurities and I'll see what happens. Uh, do you know that uh, when they cleared the debris at Waco, uh, they found the skeletons of preteen children who had died in the arms of their parents – but they hadn't burnt to death because they could tell because the skeletons were bent backwards, which is a sign of cyanide poisoning. They had they had they had died in terrible pain and that broke their own backs. Like <laughs> he's laughing. I made him no, laugh. No, 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 no. I it. I am so. I was so close to actually. Sh- I was like, this isn't gonna work, and then it was like. It got too. It was too real. Uh. I felt too many things in f- thirty seconds. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That's not cool. Okay, I'll, I'll tell. Uh, here, I'll, here, I'll make you cry. Let's, I'll tell you something that'll make you cry. Okay, go ahead. Did you, did you know that w- when you mute someone on Twitter, it, uh, if they tweet at you, it's, uh, you'll still see it. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. The only people you can mute are just people who just spout nonsense into the dry air. Like that person. Yes, we all have one of Wait, those. Wait, really, you really see it if they tweet at you, even if you. Isn't that true, right? No. <laughs> no. So there's, so there's like 50 people right now tweeting me all the time going like, hello? <laughs> I, I, I addressed that joke to you, like, like, and I'm just ignoring them. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> all right. Well, good. That's the way it should work. Why even? Why even block anybody anymore? Then, right? Just I mean, mute them. I I I did a large unfollow uh, recently. I mean, I don't have quite the. Nobody cared that I did it, but I was like, I can't. I, I muted a few people, and it didn't it didn't give me the same rush as just going. Right. You're out. The fuck out of my not real life. You know about uh, you know about our podcast producer Dustin Marshall's. Uh, uh, thing right I mean I there, he's got a lot of things but yeah I'm, I'm sh- he uh, I, I feel like I, I, I my my instinct is to whisper this because I <laughs> he he'll I hear it no like, matter what I, but. I feel like I'm somehow like it's less harsh like I feel like I'm embarrassing him less because I'm like keeping my voice down it might but, be yeah wh- he's got headphones on yeah yeah <laughs> but I you know that he uh he keep he he keeps his followers number like the people that he's following is six six six, 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 six. and he yeah. so he can't start or stop following someone without replacing them yeah. so he can keep the number yeah at six 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 yeah 
<laughs> Wait, so I mean, no matter what's going on with you, it could always be worse. It, is it better or worse that I do the same thing but with 420? <laughs> I think it makes me like way more chill. <laughs> but I could be wrong. I, 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 I'm, it's a rhetorical question, right? Yeah, no one's chiller than me. <laughs> hey, did you know you could fit every pl- planet in the solar system between the Earth and the moon? <laughs> Spencer just told me that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, I, I, I don't. Why did I say it's true? Like, I'm the judge. I, it's true. I just found out. Did you know you can fit all of Boston in Brooklyn? Oh, that's true. That's what someone told me when I told them I was from Boston and they they were from New York and they were like, "You don't live in a real city." And I was like, "Prove it." And like your whole city could fit in my borough. I was like, cool, Spike Lee. (laughs) Like, I was saying they were like Spike. It wasn't actually Spike Lee. I heard a guy rapping once about how each of his fingers was a borough. And and so when he makes a fist, he's got the whole, he's got all of New York in the palm of his hand. And I think it was Lloyd, what's his name? Lloyd Lloyd Benson. Lloyd, Lloyd Webber, Banks. <laughs> Lloyd Banks. Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd Lloyd Banks. Yeah, he said. He goes, yeah. The trigger finger is Staten Island, and the and the middle finger is Queens, and the I used to <laughs> sling rock in Manhattan, so you know the pinky's what I mean. And the <laughs> ring finger is uh, the Bronx because I I hope that to meet the uh, love of my life there one day, uh, <laughs> if my if my current career trajectory takes me where I hope to go. Uh, <laughs> But I digress. And the and the thumb is uh, is uh, Radio City Music Hall. I don't remember all the boroughs. Uh, and then I, and then I, I think that that's kind of cool. There's I, there's there's no way that the real song is better than that. <laughs> that was the best. And also, I did like how you said. I heard a guy rapping once, like you walked past him on the street, and then you're like, "It was Lloyd Banks." Well, it was part of that uh, part of that Busta Rhymes song that he did like 40, 40, 40, 40 thousand uh, remixes uh, of. Uh, Don't uh, touch me. Touch, touch, touch it. Touch. <laughs> go do touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Stop it. Form, form it. Make it. Go it. Do it in your. No, that bag. well. Put it in your. Plate and put it on a bowl and test it. Faster, bigger, bigger, and it's bigger, stronger. Lift up those weights. I must arrive so you can also get half of the beat. Bell for the 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 Take it, DMX. Lloyd Banks. Yo, yo. The trigger finger is dead. Now I'm in the middle fingers. Where so, would it go wild? And the ring finger is the Bronx. Because you know what I say. I got the pinky and the queens in the usual way. When I put them all together. They got a fist and I punch the whole city, even though I love it. Yo, 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 remix! <laughs> it, it won a Grammy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you guys are staring at me. Like, What other songs don't you know? It's fucking Touch It remix. Touch It. My he, thumb is the subway! <laughs> <laughs> he, he did one that was just all the queens of the game. His little doff of the cap to the fairer sex. He had, uh... Mary Wait, J. Who, Blige Bust, uh, on there. Yeah, Buster Rhymes is like, Yo, I'm back! Oh, remix part eight! Oh, 2007! Ah, me! Oh, I'm coming at you, the queens of the game! And then, like, he he had, like, Go, 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 Mary J! And it was like, Oh, it's Mary J. Blige. And then, but then in the video for it, it, like, switches back and forth. Does it? Does Mary J. Blige have, like, a, have, like, an alter ego? No, she's, like, a very soulful lady. I know, and, like, but that's th- kind of her thing. I feel like Mary J. Blige, like, remember, you know how Garth Brooks had, like, Chris that Gaines, angel, yeah. angel man, whatever, yeah, Chris Gaines. Chris Gaines, brooding, bangs. I feel like Mary J. Blige did the, had, like, a had like a bad guy persona that was, like, bl- bl- bliggy, bliggy, bliggy Mary or something. Like, <laughs> it was, like, it was, like, Mitzel Plick or something. It was, like, backwards. <laughs> and and that, that she could, she could say, like, 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 less soulful things, I thought. 
I thought that was depicted in the video too. Like she was, I could be mixing a bunch of stuff up. <laughs> but check it out, kids. <laughs> I kind of want to look for this song now. I mean, there's nine, uh, literally nine remixes of it. I mean, if I look, if I just do touch it in Google, I'm touch not going to find it. Touch it, put it, stick it, put it, poop it in your booty. <laughs> yeah. Remix I'll just, I'll just, three. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do. It's pretty cool. It's a cool song. It was at least nominated for a uh, VMA in 2006. I know that for sure. I'll just go into my Excel spreadsheet of 2006 VMA nominees that I keep in, in, in Google Drive that you and I share, so you should just be able to have it right now. So Aaron was making fun of me playing Minecraft. I, I play a lot of Minecraft, and then Aaron makes fun. Like She looks over at the laptop, and then she asks me uh, questions about Minecraft that are designed not, to, not for her to start like it, enjoying the game. Like it's not. <laughs> she acts like it's like her like becoming interested in Minecraft, but it's just to shame me and mock me mm-hmm. for playing Minecraft. So she asked me last night. She said, "Did you?" Do, uh, she just there's just a barrage of them. Like I'm just I'll be cutting down a tree, and she goes like, "Are you? Did you get your? Uh, did you remember your backpack?" <laughs> and I just like try to ignore her and go like, "There's no backpacks. I'm cutting down a tree." Oh yeah, did you? Uh, do, are, are, do, do you need to? Uh, <laughs> do you need scorpion poison? No, there's nothing. Mm-hmm. And then she and then she said, uh, "Did you? Do you? Do you have all of your scent gems?" <laughs> and then she started laughing so hard she almost died <laughs> in bed. She couldn't breathe because she was so yeah. entertained yeah. by her riff, scent gems. <laughs> Sorry, I wrote down scent gems. Those are really some of the best laughs you can have when it doesn't matter even ha- what y- the other person's enjoyment level is, but when you say something that tickles you to your yeah. d- deeply to your core, yeah. you can just ride that out for an hour. I would, I would, I would take that version to Aaron all the all the time. Like that's my fi- like when she she makes herself laugh and then she goes, <coughs> <laughs> she she can't take it anymore. Like it, it usually has to be. You know, victimizing someone else in order for her to find it really that funny. Uh, she, she must have just really made a lot of fun of me to be laughing so hard that her epiglottis is like revolting. Uh, but I do like the sound. It's the sound of true joy. You can, yeah, if you could bottle it, depression would be gone, man. Or if I could just live live with it by virtue of legal vow for the next forty to fifty five years. And you can. Polite clapping for <laughs> impending nuptials. Impending nuptials. All right, so I want to bring Spencer Crittenden up here uh, unceremoniously. Spencer Crittenden, come up. Spencer. <laughs> oh, what's what's up? It's good to be back. Thank you. This is our first show back since terminating the tour, right? Uh, yeah, I think we were back here for well, the Joel McHale. That was during the tour. Okay, well, I, that, the definition of tour I don't get because we, you know, I'd be working every day and then I'd have to get on a red eye and go to. Hey, me too. I was doing those same things. I know, but I don't know when you call it a tour then because it's like it's not really a tour. It's if you go to the post office, it's not a tour. Because you're coming, go leaving. Your I would home. never consider that a tour. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a trip. Uh, Spencer, yes. do you like Busta Rhymes? Yeah, I, that was so great. It was. It was. I don't think Busta would be happy with that, but I was. I was I quite would. tickled. Busta I mean, Rhymes! Ow! Oh, wow! Diggy Walt! Ow! Wow! Wow! He wouldn't disagree that he says his own name at least twelve times a song. He does. It's, huh? a pr- it's in his record contract. Tw- I think. <laughs> Wait, Dan, is this the song? You can applause from the very beginning. You can give me your thin innovation while I'm banging your face in. Put it up a bang and I call it a cliffhanger. Watch me make it up. Don't touch me. <laughs> Throw the water on him. It's a it's touch it remix. It can't be that hard to find. It was a, it was quite a popular <laughs> song among the hips and the hops. It, I, I think <laughs> touch it, touch it remix. if it was touch it, there's been remixes by everyone who's existed. So it might be actually a bit hard to hone in on. 
I guess so. I, I'm just, I, you know, you talked about that spider. What was the end of that spider story? When we oh. last left, it still existed in your house. What the fuck? Well, Aaron, it's not <laughs> it wasn't in, the, in house. the house. It was out by the uh, mailbox. Okay, so still. Every time you're walking up those dark stairs to my mansion. Yeah. <laughs> now, now there's a new reason you could die, other than just you'll fall and like Lacerate cut yourself. yourself open on these sharpened DreamWorks stairs. I always think about that. Those yeah. DreamWorks stair impalements. Um, now, if you now you might fall down, and the last thing you'll see is a spider going like, Crying "Oh my god, it's eye. the biggest caterpillar ever!" <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't want to kill it or anything. Aaron takes care of that stuff. She's she has a video of the spider and a video of her killing it. Um, then oh, she I, killed it. So then I came home. She yeah, killed it. Okay. Aaron closure. Yeah. Thank. You. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> so I came home and I do a sweep with the flashlight. Now I'm on the lookout for Black Widow. Sure. As and you, uh, <laughs> you know, and I find eight, nine, ten of them. Uh, like, like, like what? they're everywhere. Vengeance. Well, because I don't know what they look like. Oh. <laughs> oh. And so I'm. All spiders are now black widows, and I'm like, I because I'm not going to look for the hourglass, and some of them are small, and I'm like, there's black widows everywhere. <laughs> we should call a service of some kind. And then Aaron was like, those aren't black widows. And that's not a really, it's not a story. I like it though. I um, just am glad that they she killed it. I mean, I don't hate spiders, but I when when it's a black widow, I mean, that's jeez, you don't want to you don't want to tangle with that sort of thing. Here's the weird thing about Aaron, or, or not weird at all, really, if you know her personality. Like when there's a spider on the wall in the in the house, um, like I, I I just go like, okay, I'll if I have to, I'll just I'll find something and I'll kill it. I'm superstitious about it for some dumb reason. That's a classic um, superstition, though. I, I know it's just so stupid, I, but but like before, I'll do that. Aaron will be like, "I'll take care of it." But Aaron will just like she. I don't. So, so there's some people who are like really good with spiders, and then there's some people who are terrified of them. Aaron just, I don't. She, she just. If I describe her behavior to you, like like you wouldn't know which one she was because she just she'll take like a coat hanger and just poke at it, like and then it'll like like I don't even know what she's trying to do. Just and agitate I'll, and, it, and I'll go like, why are you? What are you trying to do? She, no, just uh, and then she's like poking it, and then the spider will, like fall onto the floor, and then she'll go ah. <laughs> I'm like, what what are you doing? I don't I don't what what's the attempt? Like she That's... wanted it to crawl onto the coat hanger and she was gonna be like uh 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 gentle gentle Ben or what what's a uh, uh... It's gentle Ben, yeah, we all know. No, who is Dan Dan Haggerty played him and Gentle uh... Ben. No, no, no. Grizzly uh, Grizzly, Adams. Ben. Oh. Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I like Gentle Ben. I think who's, Gen who's Gentle? Is Gentle Ben was the name of the bear in Grizzly Adams, I think. I thought he just called him Ben. <laughs> Gris Gris Grizzly Adams was a show in the 70s. This is, this is how little you could take your business elsewhere in network TV. <laughs> I, Grizzly Adams was just a guy that lived in the woods, and that is it. <laughs> He, he wasn't wanted for a murder he hadn't committed. He wasn't a counterfeiter. He wasn't. He couldn't turn into a snake. He uh, <laughs> his parents weren't vampires. He didn't. He didn't go on dates. He sat in a fucking cabin, and he had a beard and he hung out. And it, it was like I guess the other two networks had news on it or something. Did they make a lot of episodes? Yeah, I think it was on all the time. Like I'm, it's it's bo it's burnt into my memory. And he had obviously friends who also lived in the woods. There was a guy that was like a prospector sure <laughs> who had a mule and he would walk around up in the hills and he was like very cranky and then so then grizzly adams was like a kind of cool like knights in white satin kind of shirt <laughs> but he would cut cut his own wood and he had a big beard and long hair and he would he would just go like hey cranky cranky tom whatever the guy's name was <laughs> don't be so mean like, like like he just he just lived in the woods and it sounds like a children's show the way i'm describing it it sounds like something they would good. like play on a loop in a museum or something <laughs> it, yeah it, it sounds like something that will inevitably teach you about weights and measures or something yeah <laughs> it's some canadian uh if you stick around long enough there's like a teaching moment about <laughs> splitting wood and angles and stuff all right so i want to address some concerns about my dog uh oh um, so, uh, I don't, and I don't know how much of this I have explained at the show yet, but I know, uh, th like, like the, uh, the new TVs, 
the dogs can see them. They're watching what we watch now. Their eyes are, and our eyes are seeing the same thing because the TVs are different now. I'm telling you. No, you're right. And uh, Harvey, if there's ever a, a dog or a squirrel mm-hmm. or a cat, or a, and he'll react to each one differently, mm-hmm. or a deer, but like not a cockroach, like like he won't he, he differentiates it if it's but a like dog. a cartoon cat. Yeah, he goes crazy. Well, that was the new thing was that then we were they were watching The Simpsons and Santa's Little Helper came on, cartoon dog. Harvey starts going nuts. He's recognizing a cartoon dog. That's the next step is he could read the word dog. Yeah. That's a it's a symbol for a dog. It's not it doesn't even how could it have any any it doesn't make any sense and we tested it. Like he doesn't he he looks at the cartoon of the dog and he starts going crazy. Yeah, we were I think he was watching or he was watching but the, the like the rainbow bright cartoon movie was on and there's like a scene with like a kid in the snow and he's got a dog and harvey just started going nuts and i was watching him and i couldn't believe it but also he freaks out when he sees himself if you like show him a picture of him. well that's what aaron did and i was like by the time i caught aaron doing it it was too late because aaron aaron videotaped with her phone harvey put it airplayed it onto the tv so harvey starts going Ape shit. Yeah. <laughs> and that so 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 Aaron, because she's insane, she she videotapes Harvey doing that. Yeah. And then airplays that. Yeah. And then and, he- the, and it's a video of the dog going ah, 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 at a dog, and the real life dog goes like ah, ah, yeah. ah, ah, ah. So then she does it again. Yep. Yeah, and she's and I and she showed it to me, and I was like, "Stop that! Yeah. You're making him sentient." Yeah, I saw like the fifth generation of it, where it was like a crazy like, like where you shine a TV at a TV, and there was just like a dog watching a dog, dog watching a, a dog, dog, watching dog, a dog, and he's like, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, like, like the next thing would be like he would go, "I am." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't know why that would be a goal. <laughs> like, I mean, she just thought it was funny. It was disturbing. He, I mean, because I think as fun as it seems hypothetically, like no, we wouldn't like it if he could, if he was sent. To, like if he could speak, he wouldn't be happy about his situation. No, he would not. He would. He would be he like, would, "What the fuck are you guys doing to me? Why are you what, showing ha, me what this? What did you do to what me? Did you Where do are to my me? testicles? I mean, I, I've, yeah. I've, I've written about this. Yeah." Uh, the, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, yeah, that, that, that episode of Rick and Morty was based on Justin's love of his little Maltese's. I didn't have a dog at that time, but, uh, yeah, it's very disturbing. The dog, he, 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 he understands shit. Like he, and he, like, I, he's like, I come home and he doesn't even, I started to get mad that he, like, he just sits at the top of the stairs and like, I come home and he doesn't even. Like he doesn't come down to the door, and he like he like lifts his head up, and then he wags his tail like like while he's laying down, and I just feel kind of like, and then I get to the top of the stairs, and he rolls over, mm-hmm. so I can scratch his belly, and I'm like, I, 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 I work for him, like, yep. he, and, and so I was like, it'd be nice if he, I mean, when the pizza guy comes over, he goes down to the door, yeah, and Aaron says because he's get pizza, and I'm like, well, and so Aaron says here, I'll put a bag of treats. In the potted plant outside the door, when you come <laughs> home from work, take a treat and then you know give him a treat every time you come in, Have and, you then he'll, and then he'll and then he'll you'll get the pizza guy treatment if that's what you want so bad. <laughs> and uh, but you know it's like the first the first time we tried it, I come in and he's like, I think he could hear the bag, and then I got the treat. And so then the second night I come home, I open the door and he goes straight to the potted plant. <laughs> he's like, he's, oh, he's, a, he's, yeah, every time he comes home, he, there's that bag in the plant. He's, he's way too smart. There's, there have been times and like, you know, I, so I'm a, I, I've, I've never had a pet in my whole life. And that's too long. Cause I'm like a gross dog person, like not gross, but like, I'm, I love dogs the most. And I've. I think Harvey's my friend. So we have like a, 
we're friends, but every there are times when I will look at him and I will think that there's a man in a dog suit because he's his eyes are too expressive. He has those weird those whites of his eyes. So when he yeah. lays on his back and opens his mouth, it's like, yeah, <laughs> and it, it just looks like a dude. Like you expect him to be like, hey, like if you're rubbing his belly and he's like, hey man, a little. If you said like a little to the left, I would I would freak out, but not as much as if another dog. You'd be like, oh yeah, okay. What? And he sleeps in between me and Aaron like a like an eight year old boy. <laughs> and they Wait, say, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like before when you got a co- uh, when you got a dog when you hired that eight year old boy to sleep with you. He sleeps right in the eight year old boy spot on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I had uh, there was uh, there was something else. I felt like there was something else. Oh, can we? Hey, can we? Can we tee up at least just so it's at the ready? Just like a like a like a just a uh, kind of a laid back rap beat. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess I guess not. not. <laughs> Ah, nice, I, nice comp trolling. Because I feel like it's Thank kind of a, you. Yeah, it's a lazy show, and a and a and I, I I wanted to try to embrace that and turn it into entertainment, so, uh, and, and and get myself a little excited. Because you, you can you can tell I'm phoning it in. I can't. Oh no. Yeah. No. Oh. I have suspicions, but I can't tell. Well, you guys have other stuff to do. I think they can tell. They didn't really think that until you said it, and now they're like, oh. That guy knew. Who uh, who came here from the farthest tonight? Moscow. Moscow. Who's the Moscow guy? I don't even know what you said. You could have said, "I, I need a kidney. Help me." <laughs> Co- do you want to come up, Moscow, and just talk to us? We won't pick on you. London. London. I think Moscow's farther. <laughs> I guess we got that laid back beat in the wings. Uh, here, you could sit there and take oh. this mic. Thank you. What's in the backpack? It's uh, actually all my life savings, and I'm from Russia, and I, I'm afraid I, I can get robbed. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that happens here. Jackpot. <laughs> Podcast jackpot. <laughs> there's, so, there's so many things so many things a stranger can say when they get on stage at a podcast. I, all of my life savings are in my backpack. <laughs> Is is you know that's that's as that's right up there with I'm gay, black, and blind. <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, what, what's your name? First of all, uh, Zhenya, but I can. You don't want to say? Uh, actually, that was my name. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean it was a. <laughs> I didn't mean it didn't sound like a name. <laughs> I. I saw hesitance on your face, and I thought maybe that uh, you uh, American analog is something like Eugene. Oh, you, you so is, is it a Chinese name? Uh, <laughs> not, not not Eugene, the other one. No. What what is the uh, what's the origin of the of your real name? Russian. It's, uh, you, you're born in Russian. That's your Russian name. Uh, actually, I was born in Russian, but my grandfather is from Vietnam. I never knew him. So is that a Vietnamese name, the first one you mentioned? <laughs> no, no, it's uh, actually it's totally uh, Russian name. Totally Russian, okay. It's, can you say it again? Cause I, it, uh, Zhenya. Zhenya, okay. I, you know what? I'm racist because when you said Zhenya, I pictured it spelled with an X and a bunch of like <laughs> vowels. Uh, the, uh, so, so Eugene is the way it gets kind of... Uh, yeah, you, you've got uh, Pushkin ver- version of... Yeah. Uh, Evgeny Onegin, it's like Eugene Onegin. Have you, have I've you seen have... Evgeny before a lot, but never the way that you just pronounced it this for your name. <laughs> well, um, it's like a, it's different. It's like a modification, though. They're similar names. It's a sh- shorter version. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Have you lived in Russia your whole life? Yeah. And this is the first time you've been in the U.S. Yeah. So how does it come to be that you're all of your worldly possession? Is it just you travel? <laughs> you travel to the hilt. You, uh, well, I can tell a long version or uh, short version. I guess it all depends on uh, <laughs> if it involves werewolves or <laughs> or chess. Uh, well, uh, 
Joe McHale counts as werewolf. Joe, Joe okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, uh, his hair certainly changes at night. His <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, actually, I saw John McHale messed up some video show, and uh, er, er, everyone talked about his. Oh, he just didn't give a damn about that video show, and I just wanted to get to know what this guy. He's okay. His his games are just shitty, and he don't like to be here and he made the final guy who, who wears uh, all jackets in LA at I don't know how, how many so, so Joel, Joel McHale was on a show that you yeah bas basically uh, Joel McHale uh, looks he Google Google him he's uh, in uh, community he's uh, uh, I what's what's community okay. I Watch that show and so yeah, you're this, you're uh, you're a huge fan of Joel McHale. So you Googled Community. I and, 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 never knew, knew the guy, but uh, he looked nice and oh. <laughs> how did you, you first? You, how did you first come upon Joel McHale? Well, I'll just told you. <laughs> just watching TV in just, Russia. Uh, no, it's. it's Say thanks to piracy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you down. You downloaded Joel McHale. <laughs> uh, you, you actually, community. We don't have. Uh, oh, right. Community. Right. So, what you're saying is the yeah. You're in Russia. You bit torrented community. Yeah. yeah. Or something that Joel was in, and then you're like, "What the hell is this?" And yeah. are you saying that you made a pilgrimage to come see this show because yeah, of? Yeah. I mean, you, you, actually, because uh, of the Harmon Town, because. Uh, in, in the end, I got into Hamilton. I started at the first, um, not season, episode, session, uh, and uh, I listened through all these series, and uh, uh, who's Adam Goldberg? <laughs> 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 is this real? Is that real? <laughs> that was so flawless. Yeah. Like, at this point, you could be a highly trained Upright Citizens Brigade. <laughs> yeah. Practical joke. Like, like you, uh, but, uh, but I, I just Googled him, and uh, there's a guy that plays uh, in Seven Private uh, Ryan's, is uh, a Jew guy. And, uh, <laughs> But, uh, oh, you found the wrong Adam Goldberg. Yeah. The days that right. confused uh, the, Adam then Goldberg. Then I get it. The, oh, yeah, yeah. Not just Adam, Adam Goldberg. Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is Adam here? Are you here? Adam. I bet we thought we'd never hear you say those words. <laughs> uh, Adam, do you want to come up and meet this? Uh, this guy's this guy has traveled oh. the, the globe. I mean, not to meet you, but he's just curious about you. I'd hope not. This is How's Adam, it going? This is Adam Goldberg. How's it going, Dan? Nice to meet you. I got you a wedding thing for Aaron. It's Ace of Spies. It's a game, fun. What should I get Dan for his wedding? Oh, I don't know. Are you on the clock? What's another game? <laughs> Shadowrun? I'm going to get Dan Shadowrun for his wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, for helping for me my, figure that out. For my wedding, if you get yourself Shadowrun and then you, we start to play in the new year, we'll play Shadowrun on, on the podcast. I feel like it'd just be easier if I got you Shadowrun. <laughs> and then I have to game master? I, I don't know. I just, you know, that's the end of it if I just gave it to you. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Uh, hey, no worries. Uh, so you came here with all... Why do you have all your money with you? That's the mystery here, right? Well, well when you leave Russia, you don't just leave stuff in Russia. They have bank accounts. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, oh. ba banks are capitalists. They just have a big pile of their stuff in the center of the... I'm kidding. I, 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 it's not true. They, 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 they converted to capitalism. Oh. Actually, uh, <laughs> Uh, our, our currency is falling down or rising up in some other way, like f falling. Yeah. The Even the volatile. currency is rising up. Yeah. <laughs> well, who's ain't, brother? 
We got to go to that Bitcoin business. We got to we got to we got to do some kind of Google money now. What if you can mine bitcoins in Minecraft? Oh. <laughs> Did I just make a million dollars? Spencer, you got to go. You got to get out of here, man. You got to get out of here right I just now. Start running like I have the golden ticket. Yeah. <laughs> out of my way. I watched that Bitcoin Sorry. documentary and still don't understand it, but what I do understand is that it is inevitable. It may not be Bitcoin, <laughs> but it, obviously we have to go to some kind of peer-to-peer -peer currency, right? Well, That's haven't I explained this to you, Dan? You it's, have, but it's, it's a not... cash register full of math. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the way I always it's heard so it, simple. The way I always heard Bitcoin was if I gave you a Dave & Buster's dollar for every hour you spent idling your car. It's that, like that, yes. That's how, much mon that's how much the money is worth and how much electricity it actually costs to make. Well, electricity, who cares? Yeah, it's infinite. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, yeah, well, I, th I, th I think at this point, after watching this documentary, I think that any arguments for or against Bitcoin are kind of point... It's, it's sort of actually mute. The larger conversation or realization should be that, like MP3 technology... There is really nothing that's going to stop the nations of the world from inevitably, if we if we continue to exchange any kind of currency, it's going to have to become a global kind of peer to peer currency. There is no, it's not because we're anarchists. It's because the governments will not be able to sustain themselves while trying to endorse different kinds of currency. They will one by one become incompatible with something that spreads. I bet Adam disagrees with that. I would, I, I guess I, you know me well. Um, the thing about having a, a universal currency, it's a really big staple of sci-fi, even in Shadowrun. But the ability to issue debt from huge nations to huge nations means that having the yen and having the dollar be different things is really, really useful. Well, what if, if everything is like future bucks, then Japan can't control their exports and imports or set taxes that say this is valued internally as a currency and this is worth less as we export it. I, I, I hear you there. Definitely agree. That's, that's that. I mean, in that I don't understand that shit at all. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, I definitely readily accept that it's impossible to take. Uh, but, but there's a difference between saying universal currency mm -hmm. and peer-to-peer -peer currency. What's is the it, difference between a dollar and a Bitcoin right now in terms of me being able to send it to you and you being able to send it to me, hopefully, uh, in a large amount. There's a cash register made of math. <laughs> a cash register is made of math. It takes one, and then it turns it into 100 of something else. That's in math. this case, dollars and pennies. <laughs> yeah, that's a cash register. This is the most thrilling thing. We should go back to talking about your dog, who is so cute. Oh, <laughs> it's is, it a, is it a Muppet dog? Is it undignified or, uh, or embarrassing to admit... Uh, in my position or not, that I don't understand anything that you guys are talking about. <laughs> well, I'd say a, that's a, that's a winning statement right there. A lot of people are on your side. I'm not trying. Yeah, I mean, if you don't, yeah, okay. So a couple of people also don't. Good, that's cool. Do you guys? Did you guys see Interstellar? Because I didn't. <laughs> that's a that's a movie you could see everywhere. Yeah, no, I don't. Available I don't, I, everywhere. I don't understand anything. Of, not only do I not understand Bitcoin, I don't understand the actual um, American dollar or any kind, anything about economics <laughs> worldwide. Okay, good. Same the, page. Uh, the the thing that felt clear to me watching watching this documentary is that technology is going to affect currency as surely as it has affected culture, uh, media of exchange, like ideas, the way that we shoot things, edit things, record things. They be come peer to peer over time uh they they transcend things as relatively uh, uh vestigial as what country you live in over time mm -hmm. it just and it just seems like a safe enough bet i don't know but it, there's nothing there's no risk at that bet because it's either 50 years or 500 years or five years from now and i don't know which it is mm -hmm. but if, but we are we are tending toward we are going to end up not like going. Oh, here's a picture of the queen on a piece of paper. We're gonna we're going to be sending each other blip blops, <laughs> and they're and, and they're gonna be called one thing because, I mean, I don't I, know. I still think there's a skill difference because Channel 101 is the best this year as it's ever been in terms of cinematography, in terms of quality, in terms of people turning out half hour long finales to some of their series. Like. There, but there's still a difference between an episode of Community and the finale of Fishbulbs are definitely my thing. 
<laughs> which you should all watch because Fish Bowls is definitely my thing. is fucking amazing. And it tells you how the movie Seven ends. Whoa. All right, Adam uh, Goldberg, uh, everybody. Uh, uh, you uh, got uh, to meet uh, Adam don't Goldberg. Kill me. I did it. That was Adam Goldberg. What did you think? Great guy, but he's not in the, the movie. He's not in Saving Private Ryan. He's, he, he's in the movie for like a frame. There is a shot of Adam Goldberg in the, in the, in the movie. Yeah, Wait, he's you, reacting to something. Have you also seen, have you seen Dazed and Confused? Because that same actor is in. <laughs> have you seen Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused? Actually, no. Because that guy Adam Goldberg is like, uh, he's like pacing around in the woods and he's like, Dominant male monkey motherfucker! And he's like, pops his chest up, he's wearing an army jacket. Anyway, you should check it out. <laughs> it's the same guy. Oh. And he's got a new sitcom on uh, ABC. Is that the, the Meet Goldbergs. the Goldbergs? Can I, okay, so the print <laughs> That's ads... That's a different Adam Goldberg. The print ads of that show, Meet the Goldbergs, like, they, in some of them, they tried to do this thing where, oh, it's a bad picture, we're bad at taking pictures, my eyes are closed during the picture. But in some of the shots, they don't understand how eyelids work. And the lower eyelid goes up way too far, and it looks hideous like they're reptile people. And it's like, how did you, couldn't just you ask the people to close their eyes for the photo? You had to Photoshop these disgusting eyelids. I'm sorry. You, you clearly haven't seen the show because it's about a family of reptile people. So, it's like, oh, my inner eyelid stuck again before the big dance. Yeah. <laughs> my tail fell off. Is it going to regrow? Before photo picture day? That was the finale last season. It was really good. The photo picture day episode. <laughs> photo picture day. All right. Uh, New Zealand guy. Where's the New Zealand guy? Uh, you want to come up here for a second? <laughs> What's your name? Matthew. What brings you from New Zealand? Um, a lot, bunch of TV stuff, actually. Um, I kind of went to... A table reads a family guy and the simpsons and uh spent a day on the set of a couple of tv shows what for because i like them wait you you're just you're just there <laughs> you're, you're just there as a fan yeah they let you in they just let you come in and <laughs> i actually did the same thing on community last year oh yeah yeah um i won a charity auction to um, attend some of these things oh and so spent the money and so you uh, you're kind of loaded payment. you're down there in <laughs> Ki Ki kiwi town and you're you got some you get you're sitting on some uh some, some koalas <laughs> as as we call them yeah. they're universal unit of currency in new uh, zealand the koala yeah. yeah soon to be e-koalas big koala uh and, and you're like oh i could give this money it'll go to charity and i can i can uh, get, get get close to my favorite uh shows that's nice yeah. How was your visit to community? It was really, really cool. Yeah. Um, I uh, actually got in on a scene one on season five. Oh, that's right. I think I've talked to you before, right? Briefly at the yeah. scene. All right. Now it's all coming back, <laughs> more or less. You want to come to my wedding? <laughs> uh, no, Aaron will yell at me. I keep doing that. <laughs> I, I, keep, I keep just going, hey, you going to come to the wedding? <laughs> There's the seating chart. I can't do that. Um, so, it, what's better, Russia or New Zealand? I mean, is it, are you guys proud of your countries? Do you have patriotism where you come from? We're, we're pretty slack about it. Um, we get compared to Californians and Australians get compared to Texan, Texans mm -hmm. in terms of their very Aussie, 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 oi, 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 we just, I don't know, but we live there. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I actually can call myself. Patriot, but uh, our mm, kings made some stupid decisions over the time. And yeah. You guys don't still have kings, though. We know that. I mean, how us. many terms has Putin been serving lately? It's it's kind of like that, with that Putin right? Fella? He's trying to Are be you a allowed king. To say, will he beat you up if you say he something? will? <laughs> then he'll no, post actually, news articles about it. I don't know. Um, he's got mad, I think. D d in 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 Russian, does the does the word Putin sa uh, <laughs> it's got, uh, Putin's uh, Putin's because um, it's kind of a yeah. you know you know what it is over here. He's like he's he's farting. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Putin. 
What are you doing over there, Vladimir? I'm Putin. <laughs> you like that? Is that is that uh, is that funny in Russia? <laughs> Because uh, uh, it's not uh, here. <laughs> so, I'm hoping to get into the export business. <laughs> I guess I'll never know. <laughs> After this show. <laughs> no, I judge it. <laughs> um, I, I have Russia. I still have Russia questions. Okay. So every it, it, like uh, um, it, the. Uh, the uh, the alcoholism. Yeah, that's uh, part of our lives. Yeah. Is it? And that? It, do you? What do you? Wh why? Because <laughs> because the the stereotype is because it's because of the weather. It's just cold in Russia, so everybody drinks. Like, like it seems a little oversimplified. Yeah, it's uh, actually more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much more? <laughs> well, uh, every, everyone is grumpy and don't want to uh, rage against something. He just want to drink up, forget about things, and don't. So it's 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 sad. There that is the, is that the implication there, or is it just like with? With America's rich tradition of like we have retail therapy, like we would just go like when things are at their most culturally obtuse, w you would see us buying the most pants ever, <laughs> <laughs> and like cereal. There'd be nine different cereals, and there's like a CG bear going like sugar, 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 sugar smack. <laughs> uh, and, and it's just like everything's just kind of crazy in a consumery way, and in Russia, it's like. At the at the at the height of I guess at the height of the Cold War is what I'm describing. Like when we were like, yeah, break dance, got lots of Velcro, fuck Russia, boop boop boop. I got seven kinds of toast, seven 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 kinds of toast: caramel, bacon, M and M Skittles. Wait wait. Um, <laughs> those sound just, like great toasts. Uh, it's just a, there was more shit than you ever thought you needed. Like while we were like supposedly at in a cold war and then and then russia was it, at that same height was like the average russian citizen was like they spent all my money combating those glow in the dark uh, pretzel commercials i'm going to just <laughs> sit here in my cubicle and drink <laughs> because all of my money it goes to missiles and uh <laughs> researching cinnamon toast crunch <laughs> See if we can find a weakness <laughs> in in their plan. Yeah, we had no money back then. We basically. So you drink. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then it, and then the kids watch the parents drink, and then the everybody drinks. You just drink. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was New Zealand doing during the Cold War? Hanging out, hanging out, just, <laughs> just being chill. You guys don't have any missiles, do you? Do you have any no. missiles you can blow anyone up with? Apparently, back in the seventies, the joke was that um, uh, there were four people unemployed in the country, and the prime minister knew them all by name. <laughs> Apparently, that's how it was. What did you say? There were four unemployed people in the country, and the back prime the minister time. knew them all by name. He's like, "Oh yeah, Steve, get a job, Steve." <laughs> 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 he tried. <laughs> Hey, Prime Minister, I'm fine. There you are, fucking get a job, Toby. I know your mother. It's not. It's not the country's problem. You're lazy. I've talked to your family. I'm tired of pulling strings for you. Yeah. So yeah, not quite the Cold War, but around that time, and uh, just so much infrastructure and things we built. So that's awesome. Could you could you swim to Australia from from uh, New Zealand? Me personally? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> could, could anyone? Could a human being? How big is I, it compared to like? I think it's been done. I think it's been done. I'm not exactly sure. 
Well, actually, no, probably not. Probably not. There'd be a lot of sharks. No, it's, it's, sharks would just eat you. It's a bit too cold for sharks most of the time. Oh, yeah? But don't it's they cold? do all that sort of stuff um, with the cages and boats and people swimming the English Channel and stuff like that? Yeah, well, the English it's Channel, bit, yeah. It's like, it's, it's, just, it's, like small, it's just small enough that you can, like, set a record by yeah. doing some weird across it. Yeah, I think like, it's... <laughs> like, it's not... No one would ever think about doing it, but you can do it. I was wondering how that compares yeah, to... Probably a bit too far to go from New Zealand to Australia. Yeah. It would be about um, two hours flying time, so it's probably too far. Yeah, that's a long... Mm-hmm. That'd be like a day of swimming, probably, right? <laughs> How All do right. you feel about those? Uh, are there spiders in uh, Russia or New Zealand? Spiders? Black widows. Brown recluses. There are red widows over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not sure about uh, black widows, but spiders are everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try. We're gonna try something really specific here. Okay. All right, can you play? A, can you play a rap beat? Uh, I don't have one, but I can beatbox. Well, so, I think Zach might. Well, have Zach, that. Zach will probably oh, have a rap beat. So when I point, when I point at you guys, sorry, this is your part of the rap. You Would don't have good? to. No, don't don't good. panic. I can feel you panicking. <laughs> All you have to do, Eugene, is whenever I point at you, you just say, just say Russia. That's all you have to do, and you just have to say New Zealand. I forgot your name already. Matthew. Ma- what's Matthew. It? Matthew. All right, Matthew. No, you right. say New Zealand when I when I point I can at you. Probably handle that. Eugene, you say Russia. All right, and if you have a rap beat, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. 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 Nation to nation, which nation is best? The ones in north, south, east, or west? I'm gonna compare nations and rap about them to you. Fuck your mama with a shoe. Yeah. 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 Russia. Russia's the best. Fuck your mama all the east and the west. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. Yo, Russia got Lenin's tomb. I fucked your mama so hard. She ruptured her womb. I'm sorry. Yo. 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 Fucked your mama up and down Red Square. Fucked your mama at the county fair. Fucked your mama outside of the Kremlin. Sold your mama's pussy like it was a gremlin. In a Chinese shop. A curiosities. Get a mop. Don't get water on his back. He's going to reproduce and then he'll attack. Don't feed him after midnight or they'll turn bad. New Zealand. Yeah. 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 New Zealand is the place to be. It's on the top of Australia, you see. You got less kangaroos up there because they can't make the hop and they got thick hair. Yo. New Zealand. <laughs> Located atop the River Ganges, the New Zealand island is populated primarily by criminals. Criminals. Russia. Alcohol. Located east of the River Ganges, the Soviet Union, for now known as Soviet Republic, sir. Taxes. Taxes. No new taxes. New Zealand. Russia. <laughs> New Zealand. Russia. Russia. <laughs> New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> New Zealand. Russia. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. We'll, we'll end there, uh, uh, that bit. Uh, thank, yeah. you, thank you, Eugene and Matthew, for our international guests. You guys can you guys can take a seat. Unless there's anything that 
you 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 uh, you provided us with so much. Is there anything that while you're here you've traveled uh, a long way? Yeah, I traveled to ask you one question. Oh yeah, God, Uh-oh. I can't believe we almost lost uh, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, that slipped your mind. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got my, all my belongings in my backpack. <laughs> I saw Joel McHale in an illegal bit torrent. I made it here. Uh, but then you did that rap, and it was so funny. And <laughs> see you later. All right, what, what, what's your question? You have the floor. Um, if you woke up on a on an island one day, and all you had is a cloning machine of uh, that could make instant clones of yourself, what would we do? <laughs> It's not <laughs> because among the possibilities <laughs> and among some of the necessities are you might have to eat yourself <laughs> uh, and you might want to fuck yourself <laughs> and you married might, too and, and any of yourselves might want to kill you for fucking and eating you uh is the cl- are the clones? Do they have my mind? Do all my memories, or are they just biologically me and they come out kind of like uh, new to the world and uh, I get to teach them English or not? No, actually they uh, complete uh, copy of you. The oh, moment you memories. And so they just come out and going like, oh hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a copy. Yeah, and I go like, yeah, you are. You just came out of the copy machine. <laughs> uh, like, okay, well, so you, you needed a friend. And I'm like, no, I'm hungry. <laughs> like you'd have to like. Event- I mean, I, I'm assuming like yeah, you'd hide no right by with a with a baseball bat and just <laughs> waiting. And you would just have this device like this two by four that would come down with a nail on you'd it. You just make a mob grinder like uh, a Minecraft. Yeah, a Minecraft mob grinder. Yeah, just that the, the, you would hang the cloning machine over a pit of spikes. <laughs> Just hang it, hang it facing down, so that it is shot down like a kitchen faucet. And then there's two cl- two life. early clones that you that you've enslaved and hired to drag the corpses. And they know they get twenty percent of the corpses because you have pretended there's a bunch of you up there by taking previous clones dead bodies and kind of puppeting them and going like, so they think there's a whole society up there and that they did something wrong uh, so and, the, and uh, if they if they if they keep hauling corpses and cleaning and cooking them and passing the meat up through the dumb waiter they get they get an arm <laughs> um, this is actually what that TV series the illusionist is about <laughs> yeah the illusionist <laughs> kind of um, well, I mean, can I ask what? Have you thought about this? What you would do, or is this just a question to make people sad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, I wanted to hear your version because I had something in, on my mind, uh, like yes, killing myself, making a boat of my skin and bones. I and went there. <laughs> uh, I thought about that. This is, this is not the time or the place to judge people for... No. The, the question is, what would you do? Yeah. Not, can you impress us with your lying? Uh, let's, so you, 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 did you say you'd make cl- weapons or clothes? No, a boat. A boat? A boat. A boat. Oh, to get off the island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, meanwhile, in Portland, and they're like, well, uh, we got something out here, and it's just this giant cured human flesh cartilage Cronenbergian fucking vessel. You're rowing a femur. <laughs> oh my God, man. What have you... <laughs> 
but but don't you think that you could make enough of you and then and then say huddle up everybody come on we don't have any time so you can get dressed in a second um here's the situation no food no water desert island just made a ton of mouths to feed we gotta split up let's fucking do this let's turn this place into miami <laughs> like, 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 get out there! I want to sharpen, sharpen, start sharpening sticks. You hand the sharp sticks to him. You, you get some wild boar. I want you to start punching grass and plants and see if any seeds come out. That, again, all my survivalist knowledge is based on Minecraft. It's useful. If you punch enough grass, doesn't a seed come out that you can use to make food eventually? Punch one log, then make a crafting table. <laughs> but you could, do you think, or, or would that automatically? It would be like. No way, because because the whole point of a biomass is that if it's gotten that big, it's because it was sustainable. Like, there's no way you could drop 50 strangers on an island and expect more than 20 of them to be alive three days later. Yeah, probably. Could you make tw- could you make like 20 of you and then be like, all right, guys, huddle up. Listen, I know we don't have any food, but I'm going to make one more of me, and we're all going to eat that one. <laughs> like... Would I feel like that could work. Yeah, that's is, what you Is do. this you a one-shot only, like, you make however many you make and then the, the cloning machine's broken? Or can you make food people? <laughs> For lack of a better uh, word. Actually, I thought about it, uh, like, uh, you can make as much as you like. Yeah. Oh, as perfect. Many, so you can many. eat a bunch of them. That's it's cool. a meat machine. All right. But I feel like I, I, I would, if I had a choice between, and I do in this hypothesis, I have a choice. <laughs> Between making twenty of me and saying let's all let's all ritualistically eat into new people <laughs> who are no different from any of us except that they're twenty first. Yeah, they're uh, late. It's just bad for morale. It's just like like, 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 like everyone's at the table going, "Is there, are you going to finish that toe?" Uh, and, and they're like, "This is great." me is great and, <laughs> and, and and everyone's like yeah we're so lucky to be given this bounty what do you guys want to do tomorrow well let's uh, press the button again and do this again and everyone would just have this kind of Paul cast over them where they're like like well what's the point whereas <laughs> if you just take take things in your own hands and are going like i'm i'm a i'm a maniac i i, I control this machine i'm going to control the food chain i'm going to position myself as like a god and create a new civilization underneath me in which i don't have, so that i don't have to deal with the psychological ramifications of life and death i simply am somehow am past meat up like it's already cooked even i can't even recognize it i'll start to convince myself i'll just i'll bury the lip of the machine so that all i do is hit a button and i for, i slowly forget that it's me coming out of it and i and i just like every day i go to like a bamboo cabinet and i open it and a fresh steaming pile of me is has <laughs> been d- delicately prepared by the best chef version of me because it just because I'm just I'm I'm Sumner Redstone. Like I'm just like I don't even touch the things I control. Like I, I just like there's just layers of fucking like metropolises down there. <laughs> Sorry, you just compared yourself to the CEO of Viacom. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like if you're like 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 those guys, like those they, they don't even. No, like, I get it. They're, they're, like, I don't know what's happening on Comedy Central. I'm talking to VH1 today. But yeah, really like what you, you're saying is, I don't know. If, I, I guess it's. I guess that's me. I'm just pressing a button. Yeah. I buried my machine underground. You could easily just like forget about it. I I believe. I, I, I would believe hope so. In a way, we have all done this. <laughs> that bamboo cabinet is called America. <laughs> That button's called your taxes. <laughs> You're a genius, Dan. <laughs> Eugene! Thank you, Eugene. Congratulations on a successful pilgrimage. Oh! Everything, all his stuff's in that backpack. I, I mean, this isn't hilarious, but you guys didn't go with what I would have done, which I don't even know if this is a good idea, but some species of ants have evolved a way of surviving floods by which they all form together in a giant ant ball right. and they slowly spin the water. Each person gets a turn to breathe. I think I might do that. <laughs> 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 
All right, other Spencers, listen up. For a little while, you're going to be underwater. It's going to suck, but then we're going to rotate. But guess what? If this doesn't work, I'm leaving a retainer clone to try something else. It's really funny when you picture them all as Spencers. And like, okay, all right, well, Spencers, they're, they're, listen there's up. There's one giver. Okay, so here's what it's here's how it's going to be, and they're already. I know we ball, all like and breathing. All like, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And then <laughs> the shot of all of the it's like you guys just are like, completely the, solemn coming out of the above <laughs> the waves. The, the Duran Duran Rough Boys video where they're like coming out of the water and oh, splash this water coming off the face like. <gasps> <laughs> and you leave behind one Spencer who's on the shore like, yep. If this fucks up, I'll just make a bunch of new ones. It's cool. We'll try Plan Bridge of Humans. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say, that ants, like, they kill themselves and lay down across the water, and then other ants walk across their deck. Ant ball requires no sacrifices, my friend. <laughs> ant ball. Ant ball. Ant Speaking ball. of arthropods, uh, just, I want to cycle, <laughs> cycle back around to spiders real quick. If you put, you know how like you can see cat's eyes glowing in the dark? Spider's eyes do that too to a lesser extent. If you put an, a light right by your eye, so it's like right in line with your eye. So like if you take your phone and have the phone flashlight right up to your eye and you look out into the darkness like in a bush, you can see these little tiny, they almost just look like glitter among the, among the shadows. And those are spider's eyes. How do you... I listen to podcasts, bro. I know all sorts of shit. Have you tested it? Yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> like, don't don't actually do it. You'll shit. <laughs> I know we were talking about spiders once. I missed I missed it back then. We it, what do you think it is about spiders that are so extra terrifying? Well, humans actually, I, actually, the the racism psycho neurologist that we talked to in Chicago was talking about humans actually have this evolutionary, almost like a flashcard of snakes and spiders. That's like these are terrifying. Is it because they're venomous? Yeah, I, probably just because stuff like that is a lot more instantaneous of a death. It's not like a coyote or something where you can learn tactics to combat it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's got it. I, that, I, that was a that was a, a smooth plug. <laughs> I, I, it's very I mean, subtle. It's it's true though. It's like there's a lot of animals we can't actually just you know combat, but you can't punch a spider. If a spider bites you once, you're you're potentially dead. Yeah. I think that's that uh, that probably is what it is for yeah. me. If you like, or if you live with poison inside of you that you can, it'll leave your body. Like if I if I knew that I could poison oh, something. If I knew that I. <laughs> poison inside me and I could just be like hey fuck you like like in a bar fight like fuck you man <laughs> like that's crazy power <laughs> all I have is like my like impotent rage like that's not that's not that's not terrifying you would you you would use poison on, on if you if if, if, if uh... I don't know man if someone steps to my girl whatever <laughs> can, whatever dude you're gonna fucking step to me I'm full of poison it, I got a reserve of it. It lives in me. If I'm mad enough, it's out. That's what Who it's knows? for. Do you know if you would ever use it? I don't know. No, I, well, I can't think of a situation in which I would use it recently. Like if someone I, stepped very, to your girl. Well, you wouldn't. Oh, so if someone stepped to my girl, <laughs> I think I think we all. <laughs> like you guys are at Aria in Hollywood. You're dancing on a Saturday night with your girl like you are wont to do. And I know you. <laughs> You're, you got a real wide collar unbuttoned to the chest. You're dancing. A dude comes up to you. He pretends like you're not even there. He's getting all up on your girl. Your bride to be, dog. <laughs> now, mind you, you've got a you've got a reserve of poison. That venom is like right. ready to. What happens? Do you just go like, hey man, maybe maybe like just maybe just go to a different table, or do you go? I, I well, at first I would go like, oh, I better watch what Aaron does in this situation because uh, this might be how, how I find out she doesn't love me. <laughs> and then your poison stays put, and you're just yeah. Uh, I mean, why? Well, far be it for me to poison this guy if he's 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 you know going to be her new new yeah, mate. Like, yeah. This is how they meet. I think that's what separates us from the snakes because snakes can't just like Uber to Carl's Jr. and like. <laughs> 
you know, get like a six dollar guacamole bacon burger, go home. Well, this venom would watch you some be bar Im- rescue? <laughs> would you be immune to your own venom? Oh, you have to be. Okay, so like you could go up to someone who's like eating a sandwich and just spit poison on it and feel like, hey man, that's gonna kill you. Can I have yeah. that? <laughs> it's just all the free food. You could just ruin people's days. <laughs> Poison. <laughs> it's all about you stealing people's it's sandwiches. It's free sandwiches. Just, yo, oh, I poison your Slurpee, bro. Hey, you can't drink that. Can I have it? Yeah. But you, you, you know, technically, you can do that with your regular spit. Or, yeah. or regular non-excreted yeah, poison. Yeah, just like, yeah, hey, that's not gross to me, man. Can I have that? <laughs> well, I feel like if you're a venomous creature, you might get more of a pass. You know? Yeah. It's like if you spin something, people would be like, they'd punch you, but not if you were a venomous creature. But they still would. They would punch you and, like, leave you at the side of the, like, on a sidewalk, but they still wouldn't drink their Slurpee. So you'd have a black eye, but then you'd also have, like, a large Slurpee <laughs> with your name on it. Well, we just cut out the very complicated middleman of a very complex problem. <laughs> so I'm glad. Did you see uh, Hard Target? Jean Claude Van Damme punches a snake in it. <laughs> How does that he, he, go? He grabs a snake. It's gonna bite the woman, and then he grabs it, and then he holds it, and he and the camera's over the snake's shoulder. <laughs> and as Sean Clive Van Damme goes, <laughs> and the snake passes out. <laughs> he knocks it out. Oh my God, I gotta see it. I'm yeah. I'm obsessed with uh, the scene. Have you seen the beach with Leonardo DiCaprio? No. He punches a shark in the face in that, and it's like the greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh-huh. Because then there's a scene where he's telling that story to a bunch of people on a beach, as if as if they're like us watching the movie. And he's like, and then I decided that I will not die tonight. And everyone's like, yeah, I guess you punched a shark. In the face. Like they're like sort of impressed. <laughs> Is that the scene? Because I remember seeing a trailer where I just see Leo DiCaprio going like this in the trailer. <laughs> like, is that him de- That's demonstrating? That's the scene where he's like hallucinating that his life is like a video game. It's not the best movie. <laughs> I gotta see this thing. Yeah, you should probably see it. Isn't, uh, what's his name from Last Action Hero in that? Isn't there like an old crazy old man that's keeping him prisoner on the island or... Am I thinking of... Mm, you might be thinking of Last Action Hero. <laughs> or Dr. Moreau or something. Yeah. I don't know. Shutter Island. Shutter, well, not Shutter Island. I saw, I saw that. Shutter little, Island little, little is little uh... steaming little surprise <laughs> in the theater. <laughs> they love that little reveal in Shutter Island. Has, ever, ever, has everyone seen Shutter Island? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I mean, it's like it's it's the world's worst crying game. <laughs> I mean, you would be you would there. Yeah, are there mo- are there movies that have a twist that big that make you go like I know like that you get really excited about because sometimes I just feel like I don't like that people are fucking with me but maybe I'm just too fragile. I don't think that's. I mean, our brains and our bodies are six million years old. There's no there's no such thing as like a there's twists in storytelling, but you can't just say at the end of a campfire story. But by the way, this whole time they were in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> they were all really tiny, and you're like, oh. Fuck. Yeah, like, 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 you just took you. Uh, the whole time I was telling you that Bruce Willis was hanging out with this kid. Guess I didn't what? Tell you he's a ghost. <laughs> I didn't say anyone else could see him. What? Check out a bunch of flashbacks, motherfucker. <laughs> what are you flashbacks? It's a campfire. <laughs> yeah, I think you gotta. I mean, so I mean, make your movie however you want, but sure, I will. <laughs> I'm going to make my movie and there's going to be so many twists. Got to tell this old timer a story. <laughs> For instance, horns. <laughs> Did you watch horns? I just watched horns. I oh, drove boy. past the theater that was playing horns ten times. And I feel like if I did it one more time, I would have gone in. Because that poster of old cutie little Daniel Radcliffe with horns, that's almost enough, man. I don't even know what it's about. Why does he have horns? That's what it's about. <laughs> that he has horns? Yeah. And why. And why? Yeah. Did you see it? No. <laughs> I watched it. What do you think? It's like, you know, old crudite. Because it's kind of dry and ashy. I mean, it's supposed to be good for me, but it's just like from Albertsons. <laughs> like, why are you trying to make me rethink 
how I think about morality when you don't even know what your movie's about. <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why, why are we going straight to me having my definitions of good and bad subverted if, like, you don't, you know. Maybe. I hate when crudite makes me think that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm too old. I just watch, I just watch these things now, and I just like feel like it just everyone's on my lawn. I just go like get off my get lawn. Get off my lawn. There's another kids. movie to get off my lawn. Like I kind of like don't even consider it the, their their goal to entertain me anymore. I I just like go ah six dollars ah six dollars. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? What is this? He's fast. He's furious. Make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids and your souped up cars. Good God. Like, it's not for me. And I kind of like, I, therefore, I'm kind of like, it's like, I, I actually don't, I can't tell you. In the old days, like eight years ago, I would have been like, horns. I'll tell you what I thought about horns. And I'd be like angry about it because underneath that anger would be some supposition that it's possible to make a good movie or that, or that, or that, you know, like Robocop was so great or, you know, it's just like, I'm just 41 and my back hurts. And I'm kind of like, I think all these movies suck. I think they've all, all Always sucked. I think everything has always sucked way more than we think. Like, <laughs> and you're just catching some sucky shit when you're in a good mood. You're, yeah, like, you're, like, you're like, I'm 11. Star Wars is amazing. I mean, honestly, like, you're not wrong, but also, have you seen Birdman? I haven't seen Birdman. <laughs> no. I want to see Six that. Six people think it's dope. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the trailer for it, and I, I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle watching that because it's just too, it because Michael Keaton's too much for the average current movie going audience because he's too fucking good, Damn. He's too cool. He's back. If he's anyone, back. if anyone in here doesn't think he's back, <laughs> who honestly, by I don't know. I'm if sorry. I'm sorry to do this. By no. a show of applause, if anyone doesn't think he's back. Speak now. <laughs> a weak applause that I will not dignify with a response. He's back. He's back. All right. Michael Keaton's back. He's back. I mean, it's just a real fucking treat to watch that guy for two hours after like a million years of not seeing him for two hours. You get you get him for two hours. I guess I have. I guess I wasn't. I didn't realize how that I hadn't seen Michael Keaton for a while. You you forget, but then you see it in a movie theater, and you realize like I've been watching a bunch of guys named Chris, white guys named Chris for like the last ten years. Ah. Like, Who the fuck are these guys? A bunch of Chrises <laughs> with like cool hair or not? Paul cool Rogan, Rick yeah. Reg Phelps, yeah, 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 like Fribbly Cooper, dude. Florin Bergnorf, like oh my god, Florin Bergnorf Rud was really Flintoff, good. Flintoff, Efron, Zach, Bergen, yeah. Bergen, Bergen. A bunch of guys who have like cooler abs than they have faces and they like can't act their way out of a paper bag and they're driving a cool car and you're like I guess this is a cool movie fucking Keaton is here for you he's here <laughs> for you and I'm not fucking around it's like people think I'm joking when I, <laughs> listen, well, listen, listen 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 and I will sh I promise I'll shut up it's your show but guys Beetlejuice does not appear in his own movie for 50 minutes. <laughs> 50 minutes into Beetlejuice, he shows up for real. Earlier in the movie, he's like on a commercial on a tiny TV. He's like, oh, Beetlejuice, look at me. 50 minutes, he comes in for real and takes the movie over. Nobody remembers that because he fucking owns it. Because he's Keaton. Yeah. He's Keaton. Hey, I'll tell you something else. Gina Davis was an, an, an almost Olympic archer. Did you know that? Oh, I know. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Gina she, Davis yeah. almost was in the Olympics as an archer. She was almost in the Olympics as an archer. She was in Beetlejuice, and she had a sitcom where she played the president. <laughs> and I have no opinion about any of that stuff, but I think it's interesting. No, yeah, I don't think she's a good or a bad person. I just think it's amazing. It was post, post Gina Davis, the actor. Yep. Gina Davis... Could, might have been representing the United States as an archer in the Olympics. She, that's impressive to me because, like, to be good at more than one thing, it, it really eludes me. Because I'm not even good at one thing. <laughs> Obviously, she's got to be a pretty shitty archer because <laughs> how many people can possibly be trying out for that <laughs> since the invention of the gun? <laughs> like, how many... Raise your hand if you can kill someone with a bow and arrow. See? Someone's uh, iffy on it. <laughs> <laughs> you could maim them, like maybe draw a bunch of blood. I, I did it like 15 years ago, so I don't know anymore. More you maimed me. someone or you practiced archery? <laughs> I shot an arrow at, at a Ren Fair two years ago, and I did not I did not come close to a target. Or I, I, I shot at a bale of hay, and I missed. So. All right. We don't have an ending for the show. 
because it's not because Spencer is a bad person. It's, it's because we've grown over de- over dependent on Dungeons and Dragons as a closer, and yeah. yet the show has no structure anymore. There's no the like like Jeff's been on sabbatical for so long, and uh, you know to ask you to keep writing these D and D adventurettes. I mean, I I wrote them, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's tough. It's a tough ass. But the show has got a it's got a Dungeons and Dragons addiction. I mean, we we don't know how else to 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 end the show. I feel like I know how. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Keaton. Yeah! Yeah! Keep the applause. He's coming. Shake, shake, He's shake. Slower. Nora. It didn't work. <laughs> but but honestly, what if? What if? It could happen, man. It would blow minds. And I know that. And that's what makes me, that's what makes me think Keaton's back. Keaton's back, man. I'm sorry, Dan. No, it's all right. Okay. Well, so, I mean, you were talking a bunch of... Where were you going with all that? No, I'm just... some interesting talk. I'm just floundering. I'm just sharing my anxiety. I don't, oh. I don't script this show. I don't know... If I, if I prepared things, do you think I'd talk about my dog? Yeah, I think your dog is... I'm not Bill Cosby. I didn't go, worthy. oh, my dog will be interesting. I'll do a tight 20 about that. Man, fuck Bill Cosby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everybody, look. People are going to start being okay with talking about fuck Bill Cosby. Yeah. Let I mean... Me, I more don't. than one person's weak applause. Yeah. People were way happier about Beetlejuice not showing up for 50 minutes than they were about talking about Bill Cosby. <laughs> Nobody here knows him. He did it. Yeah. No, I mean, that's a... You're all wrong. You're all wrong. Wait, He's what? not actually your dad. He just played a dad on TV. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Dan, he did it. I know, I know, I know. I, know. I remember. We I all know. <laughs> Let me let me let me just do it. Let me do a really sweet ass rap. Like like I won't, but it doesn't necessarily. It's not going to close the show. The rap. Just let me clear my head. With but the, could it? I, sorry, sorry. It's not my job. No, of course my jo- not. My job is to flow. To clear your head. <laughs> this is serious shit. I don't know what I'm doing up here. Dan Harmon, motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. Let him hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Harm yeah. town. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it yeah. to him. Yeah. Yeah. Bridge to the building, sky to the street. Your mama's got feet. She uses them to walk. Cooked your pussy like a walk. Chinese food. Your mama's in the mood. Chopsticks. Penises, dicks, <laughs> balls, butts, dicks, nuts, New York, beef, pork, sucking dicks, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, your mama's pussy on a plate, break it down, break it down, break it down, Spencer. I'm breaking it down. Yeah! Like a sad clown. Because I'm stepping up the place with my jungle and balls, and I'm screaming to the place from the walls to the walls. I don't know. Yeah! Give it to him, Dan. Yeah! Yo, electric signal. Mama's got a sigil. <laughs> That's an arcane symbol. <laughs> Fucked your mama with a thimble. Because my pinky's so small. Don't want her to poke it at all. So I protect it with a sewing piece of equipment. Yo. Safe on shipment. Just hold on. Just hold on. You gotta know Jeff to come to the The river, the river of life. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, take it. Yeah. What up, y'all? Here we go. This is the part where the beat comes in. And now I'm about to begin. My name is Dave, and I don't rap a lot. Yo, I smoke a little pot, and that's cool. 
It decriminalized. Girl, I'm between your thighs. That's cool. A rap about Keaton. Motherfucker Jody Sweeten. Coming back from a meth addiction. This shit is nonfiction. Google it. You can do it too. It's all. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. You gon' give it to him. You gon' yeah. give it to him. Damn. 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 Get it. Get on. Get on. Get on it. 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 Yo, step to your mama's penis. Yo. Saw your mama in the parking lot I flipped her face so hard She was dripping snot I said, hey woman, get into the car I'm gonna take you to my house And I don't think it's far I drive an Uber, Uber I touched her boober Cause I'm sexually harassing And I'm in a stupor Cause I'm Armenian And I drive it around I'm in a gypsy cab service And I'm running the town I'm taking business away From the taxi service <laughs> Government getting nervous uh, Got to outlaw that shit Philadelphia sees you They will pull over it It's gonna Arrest your Uber driving ass all over, take a lift, get a pass. Got the pink mustache going down the avenue. Uber driver, what you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's just let's just use that to end the show because we don't know what else to do. I'll be I'll be more lively after I get married. Comptroller Dave Horowitz. <laughs> Dungeon Master, co-conspirator Spencer Crittenden. For those enjoying us on a video stream, you want to thank Kevin Day. And uh, I don't know who Kevin's new new technical friend is. i got to remember his name so we can thank him. He's the... Chris? Okay, Chris. Just Chris. If you see a guy named Chris, thank him for hooking up these cameras and keeping them out of your way. Uh... All right, and the meltdown and everything. Okay, and God bless America, and we'll see you. Uh, I don't think we'll. I, I, I have no idea when we're going to see you I again. Think two weeks. I two think weeks, two probably weeks. two weeks from now. Okay, I'll see you with my wife. Yeah. Birdman, now in theaters, y'all. Yeah.